All right. All packed up. Everything's up. Ready to get the trail. Very nice. I'll see y'all. Oh. I'll wait for y'all at the top of the mountain. Okay. The at the top of the mountain. top of the mountain, yeah. We'll do the best we can. Yeah. And that's in two miles? I don't know. I mean, cool. I didn't hear you It's work. about two miles. Here you go. Got my coffee. Made it last night. Still one this morning. Slept pretty good last night. Actually, feel somewhat rested. Um, the blister I was afraid was going to form, form finally yesterday. So now, ten miles today on a blister toe, but at least it's just one. It's not. It's not a massive thing. So try to alter my foot pattern so I'm not putting so much pressure on that one spot. But I'm hoping even early maybe we'll see a moose somewhere along the way. Lots of big trees. But that um shelter seem to be several mosquitoes in that area. There's not a lot of air flow so yeah just kicking myself for not staying at the beach. I really should have done that. I mean, how many opportunities do you get to camp by like a lakeside beach? As nice as that one yesterday, but at least I was with the girls and was able to chat and all that. But now we gotta climb up Nez, whatever this mountain is. I think somebody said it was like 1,200 feet elevation. So I'll be sipping on the coffee. Got me some, a uh, couple of snacks in my pocket for today. So I'll show you those as I eat them and just enjoy the morning, early morning, golden hour. And this morning, man, it's chilly. Like, I'd say it's probably in the low 40s. Kind of feels like that. Just, it's chilly. <laughs> um, especially compared to the night before. It's like... I've not had to hike in a long sleeve this whole trip. And definitely feel like I needed it, so. They had just a couple of trees knocked out. You have a really good view across through there. Sally is starting to go down south again. I don't know. Maybe she's going for punishment. She's wanting to go up and over the mountains for another round. Not me. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting helicoptered into White Cap and just being able to sit there for a day. But, geez, my feet are officially tired of being wet. That's <laughs> just not, not pleasant. Especially this morning, it was cold and wet. It was like, whoa. That's cool. It sounds cool. It sounds similar to like an elk. So I'm going to go ahead and move on this. That's chocolate almond. Better sea salt bar. Now that's a nice bench right there. I think it's a wild, but. Works perfectly as a bench. Use it with a backrest. What do you think, Sal? Wanna keep walking? But now I feel weird. I don't have anything in my hand. Oh my gosh. Look at this view. <gasps> wow, that's a big lake. I have some of the, a couple of these just to kind of stay ahead of the electrolyte game. Yeah. 
man, that view of that lake is just incredible. Oh, this is cool. Such a gorgeous morning. I love this time of day. I think this is probably my favorite time of day is about like right after daybreak. Everything waking up. It's just really cool. First, I thought those were like fallen leaves, and I realized they were mushrooms. It's pretty cool. Ow. It's pretty Sally. Hey, <laughs> Sally. Sally has had an increase in barking here lately and growling. I don't know. I think she's just tired. And I, I was just like, you know, we're, we're walking along and all of a sudden people come up behind us. It just kind of startles her. She don't like, she does not like being startled. That seems to be one of the worst of it comes out. It's okay. I was a good girl. I mean, she's not like biting or being aggressive, but she just gets startled and it's like, hey, how dare you? It is humid today. I've never seen a mushroom like that. Lovely little break between stairs. There's a view up here, not just tree in. Oh, here it is, the summit, yes. Our last climb of the 100 mile wilderness. Nesson to Mountain. It's awesome, it's gorgeous up here. So, I'm going to take my shoes off. And I was hoping there'd be a view, but I don't see a marker anywhere other than that. Okay, so the trail goes that way. 
Oh man, this would be cool to camp up here. You'd have to haul all your water though, but. All right, well, we'll sit here and wait on my friends. Oh, I wonder if there's a view up there. Oh, wait, viewpoint? I just, 200 feet. All right, oh man, oh man, oh man. I get excited about viewpoints. Let's check it out. Let's check it out, Sass. You see the view, Sally? Oh my goodness. I'm assuming that that right there is uh, that right there is Katahdin. Sally's out. I've just been sitting up here enjoying this view. This is interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen. I'm sure it probably is common, but like it looks like icing, like donut icing on these pine cones or whatever. And they're all over on that on those. It's pretty cool. Send me. That's no network connection. Well, that's funny how you just sent a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Clouds came over and took over. I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what's up with that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, so that right there is Katahdin. <gasps> oh, that's incredible. All you gotta do is go down and swim over and over. <laughs> and that'll be done, huh? <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. I think I'll have enough to get, because I'm, I'm still at 90. What county is Watauga in one? All right, we're descending from nest, nest, but nest of the, this mountain can't that I can't pronounce. Nobody seems to be able to pronounce it. I think somebody said it's like an Indian name. So now we just got to descend. But it was so nice to be up here for a couple of hours, just enjoying the view. And uh, it's very nice. Of course, now I probably should put the GoPro up before I face plant. That rock. Overlook we were just at up there. So yeah, that rock ledge is just right up there somewhere. I hear the people. I hear my friends up there talking. And up there, apparently there was really good cell phone service. Um, seemed like everybody was <laughs> checking their phones and stuff. Um, it's kind of funny. I'd probably be right there with them, check them, you know, whatever. But I just kind of sad that we are so phone oriented. I'm guilty of this. Um, but it's just, you know, you got this gorgeous view, and the first thing people do is pull out their phones and check email or whatever. And it's, so, uh, as much as I hate to say it, because I do miss taking the pictures and stuff with my phone, but it's kind of been a blessing just to make myself rely on a map for navigation and to just appreciate my surroundings without feeling the need to check, you know, back in reality and all that. So, it's been a, it's been a learning thing for me, you know. 
Maybe I need to start trying to challenge myself more to do without my phone. I need to just start bringing a camera to do my pictures, but, you know, just, it's just funny. It's funny to, you know, be with one person without a phone and then see everybody come. And the first thing I do is check, oh, I got service, and check their email and stuff. Like, is reality really that good? I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's been an opening experience for me not, not having a phone. So, anyway, up the stairs we go. And the, the biggest thing I miss is not being able to talk to my mom and talk to my husband, you know, and like being able to send them pictures of the trail and stuff. But um, I think that's the thing I miss the most, other than my Bible app, which honestly surprises me that I miss that. Because I'm just in that habit. And it's like, man, I really miss studying my Bible. Um, so, but like I say, learning experience just shows the dependency on technology. I'm the world's worst about being glued to my phone, so this has probably been a good teaching, learning lesson for me. We'll just keep going down through the woods. Now we're getting back down into the hardwood section. A nice little view right here. trail <laughs> kind of reminded me and I came to this and kind of reminded me from the grandfather mountain video where my husband was like going down the trail and then came across like the steep rock section with the rope and he was like do 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 oh this is treacherous <laughs> so that that's kind of what like went through my head just now <laughs> oh I miss my husband I miss his, I miss some, you know, some, cause sometimes he says like really funny things. It cracks me up. I really miss him. I'm, I'm missing him. Cause he would truly love all these roots, all these roots to massage his feet. More of those teacup mushrooms. That's what I'm gonna call them, is teacup mushrooms, because they're all cup-shaped. This is the last time I'll mention it, but I wish I had stayed at that Sandy Beach last night. The two guys I was talking to there, they were saying it was really pretty last night because the moon rose, and it was just really, apparently really pretty over the lake. Hey, win some, you lose some. Now, I'm loving this little walk through here. It's really pretty. You can see some of the fall colors coming in. Squirrel is just chewing out here. What you doing, little bud? Hey. Yeah, that squirrel barking. <laughs> that squirrel is not too happy. Or maybe he is happy, I don't know. Like, whoo, I'm still living. There's some cool looking fungi on the side of that tree. Pretty cool. All right, let's figure out where the AT goes. Over there. Reminds me of like gravel roads back home. It's a different AT sign. I've never seen an AT sign on a piece of pine board. <laughs> that looks like some pine, that old pine paneling you see in older houses. There's nine nose because it's in our kitchen, but 
I think that's what that, that's what that looks like. But I've never seen an AT thing on something like that. So it's interesting. Appalachian Trail North. Okay. BTC. Oh, check those things out. Don't like bugs. Oh no. I wonder if the aging process is they start out as that and end up as that. Don't eat the mushrooms out. I think that's the most ferns I've seen in one spot. Pretty. So it came out of that hardwood forest and it opens back up into this. Over how pretty this is. A lot of these top forests. So I think this is Crescent Pond. So we're kind of going to go around around like that around this way according to the map oh that's actually somebody's boat huh. all right there's a trail coming in from somewhere that's probably on the map but I'm not gonna look at it right now. Oh man. So I guess everybody just brings in their boats and just leaves them. Enjoy this beautiful lakeside walk for a little bit. Wind seems to be picking up some. Clouds are officially moved in. So that's probably helping with the bugs. Well, this is a very nice campsite. Oh, that breeze. Well, you can see that water just drops off right there. luggage because when she's in front of me I can't see a trail so that's why I try to keep her behind me so. and there's just so many gorgeous views along this section so I just had another battery go to put with the GoPro because like it was doing something weird I can't explain it I just know it's not typical GoPro behavior I was like I'll play it and I just go ahead and change the battery just try to be proactive 
open it battery compartment the battery was like swollen so i had a hard time getting it out and the, the bottom came off like where the pull tab thing is and it came off and like the battery was like swollen so just lost another gopro battery um so apparently like for the gopro stuff make sure to keep you know like your gopro batteries dry like dry dry because humidity and heat apparently cause some swelling plus two probably just me using the camera so much it just creates heat and causes it i don't know I mean, well, luckily, I was able to get the battery out, and it didn't get completely lodged in there, and then I beat it without a video, too. But this is so pretty through here. Bugs are kind of bad, though. Oh, I wonder if they had a fire in here. And that's why there's a bunch of trees down. Okay, so the AT goes up that way. Looks like there's a little view here. Maybe. Pollywog. I don't know why I said Hollywog. Yeah, the Hollywog Gorge. Perfect. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is making me a little nervous. All right. Mm -hmm. This is about as far as I'll go. I'll be right here. Oh man, that is gorgeous. Look at these big rock faces. All right, we'll go back up to the trail. Over here, you see the big rock cliff. All that breeze. Whew. That was good. I wonder if they are. They look like a blueberry plant. Oh, I don't want to chance it, but they look so good. Those are wild main blueberries. And I missed out thinking they were, might be something else. I mean, it looks like a blueberry plant. I mean, I swear these look like blueberries. I don't know. I don't think so. Unless that was just an unripe one. Yeah. I don't think that's what that is. We'll just keep walking. Edit that part out. Jeez. So, you like me? You like me? Me too. Even though it's been tough. Please let me play in the creek. I'll let you play in the in the lake later. That was like a little steep descent there. Yeah. Oh, it feels good down here. Oh man, this is nice. Oh no, I wonder if we have to ford this. I didn't think about that. Nice little campsite area. Hmm. Looks like that used to be a step over, but I don't think I like that any better than just going up here.
Well, at least we got like probably four or five more miles to hopefully our campsite for the night. At Rainbow Day Glam. Glam. Man, I am tired. I can't even talk. Um, yeah, Rainbow Lake Dam. So, I won't walk out here on this bridge. I always walk out on the bridge to see the view upstream. Oh, this is gorgeous. Hello. Oh, wait. There's a white place. I guess we needed to go this way anyway. <laughs> That'll work out. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like that. Looks like it's probably going to veer off to the right here soon. what the NLC is. Alright, here we go. Back on the AT. <laughs> so somebody tried to draw an arrow like this way. AT North. That's me. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be just in the woods for a while. So, it's 2.4. Yeah, probably about just under five miles to camp. No clue what time it is. So, you lost it, didn't you? Oh boy. Oh boy, Sally. Golly, I hope the next three miles ain't of this, cause ugh. That's so pretty with the colors. So, I wanna go down here and check this out, cause this looks like it's gonna be pretty. It's gorgeous. Go, Sally. Part of a beef stick, and then I want to uh, go ahead and have this. Getting it out. That's a gorgeous spot for a late lunch or snack or whatever. It's so nice, like dangling my feet off the edge of the rock, and just to keep the pressure off my feet. So nice. Oh, we're going up the trail. It's worth the little like side trip off the trail. I mean, like the trail is like right there. I just happened to hear it, and I was like, "Oh man, we gotta go check that out." So glad, so glad I did. We got a little lunch spot for Sally and I. Now it's time to head on up the trail. See what else we can see. Oh, so refreshed actually. Oh, I love this. Oh, man. You know, when you turn a corner and you think it ain't gonna get better, it does. That is gorgeous. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, we got to get down here and look at this.
we're standing back there and I feel some raindrops, so apparently the rain's gonna start a little earlier than anticipated from what I was told earlier, so I just went ahead and put on my rain stuff because I just don't I really don't want to be soaking wet. Man, this is just gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna stop right here and uh, reorient my pack because I left my pullover and jacket outside of my dry bag. So I think I'm gonna stop and stick it in my dry bag real quick. Cause it's gonna be bad and my stuff ain't dry. All right, I got the rain gear on. Rain cover loaded. So I think I got at least probably three more miles to the campsite, I think. As Tony was thinking, it's probably about another mile or mile and a half, somebody said, to the shelter. And then I know from there it's, I think, two to Rainbow Lake Dam. So we'll just see when we end up. I'm still going to enjoy it because, you know, last night, I mean, all my clothes are, you know, dry. So if, you know, I get wet, I don't care. Hiking in the rain. I'm trying to figure out, like, oh, it's cool. Okay. And that would not be good in high water. Looks like the sun kind of wants to come out. Sun and raindrops. Oh, that'd be cool to see a main rainbow. Gorgeous, or stream. They call it a stream up here, I don't know. I mean, it looks like a river, but. Sure is pretty. Kinda reminds me of like Jones Gap, just with all the rocks and everything. It's just really pretty. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Where there was like that rock face and like the boats and stuff. That is really. I might just walk down. Down and sit. Yeah. Sally! I'm gonna keep on. Well, where's the AT go? I guess it goes this way. Okay. I'm just gonna walk no. the short way. Just I walk. think it keeps going down by the shelter actually. Oh, does it? Yeah, because this is just a camping tenting area. Oh, okay. Wow. This is gorgeous. Okay. I need to focus. Oh, Frog. Frog. This is just gorgeous. Like that old log bridge. I'm glad it wasn't like soaking wet because it'd be slippery otherwise. But... Oh, this is pretty. That's like a little cascade. No, that, right? no. Oh, it's even more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> any, any water we don't have to cross is yeah. gorgeous. <laughs> this is just. These people chain up their boats. I'm like, who comes in here and steals are your they boat? Chained? I didn't know. Some of them are chained. Like that one, at the one place, like the wings on it was like that thick. Really? Oh yeah, they're, they're like, nobody's still in this boat. <laughs> and like, I noticed several of them, they have like um, phone numbers and names. It's like, how did they even get the boat here? I know. 
Because it's not like you see like a boat launch, mm. some picnic area. <laughs> you know, if you were in South Carolina, you would see some sort of day use area. That's so cool. What do I always think about? And that looks like one of those like, I don't, it's not, a, is it a loon? No, it's a... I, I think probably, probably within the next 30 minutes we should see. see. Maybe not. We got to be close though. I heard so. Mountain Side Trail, East End Rainbow Lake. But I know we're not going that. And we will have done it. We will have done this. That, that's just absolutely amazing. Way to go, us. Yeah, really and truly. <laughs> Through the rain and the. <laughs> and the ups and the downs and the. Mostly up. <laughs> yeah. This trail, this trail's uphill both ways. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I can remember any downs. Oh man, finally took the rain jacket off and it's like, I think I was wetter inside the rain jacket than the outside of the rain jacket. So, stop. Of course I take my rain jacket off and the rain will start. We're almost there. Cannot wait. Enjoy a nice lake view with our dinner. It's really cool. These are beautiful colors. I love those colors. Oh, wow. Oh, it's got a fire pit right next to the water. Where I'll, will you be? I'll probably be like, I don't know. I might could set up like right there. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Are you that or I would just be like behind here? Oh, this was worth it. 100%. Do you think we can use that water? I would, I would. Yeah, I would too. Oh, that's interesting. It says no pets are permitted. That's okay. She's not a pet. She's yeah. a dog. Yeah. Don't take it personally, Shia. You're just that dog. I know. <laughs> Poor son's crazy. Nice little place to get water right down there coming off the dam. I mean, this is just gorgeous here. I'm so glad like we all four was able to get, a, get this book off is about to drive me insane. These 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 are going in the garbage. Okay. My bad's katadin. Man, it's just gorgeous here. I don't know if there's more camping over there or not. It don't seem like it, but and this is it. But it's just definitely pretty. Love it. But now it's dinner time. Dinner time. All right. That's the pepper. Some jelly beans. Pepper mats. And of course the hot chocolate. This gorgeous view. Are you taking a nap? Mm -hmm. Are you crashed out? Or are you just wanting a belly rub? Yeah, it's right there on the bottom right there. It's pretty easy Where? to, it's right there. Like you just keep walking down and you'll see it. It's coming off the edge. Did you catch it coming off the wood? Yeah. I'm gonna sit here and drink my hot chocolate. Enjoy my last night in the 100 mile wilderness. Well, I was gonna start a fire, but then that dark cloud kind of moved in. I was like, eh, it ain't worth it. But, I mean, uh, it looks pretty ominous over that way, so we'll just call it a night. Batten down the hatches and get Sally tucked away. Good night, you guys. Bye. Good night. You going to bed? Yeah. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. In the hammock. Got the tarp up. It's supposed to rain, so I'm hoping I've got it set up adequately enough to keep me dry. Really kind of worried about it, but I feel like I did the best I could do, so we'll see you in the morning. But uh, 
this great day on trail, absolutely gorgeous. The early fall colors on the stream and stuff, it's just gorgeous. I love this lake site view. But, yeah, last night, tired, very, very tired. Got like, I think a 13 mile hike out tomorrow to the car. So we will show you all that and uh, call it a night.